What's up guys, in this episode I go over how to use a two notes captor, stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and here is my Two Notes captor. Um, this is the 108 Ohm, and here's the one thing. If you guys are normally recording your amps and you know how to use a um, any one of these uh, loaders, then you're fine. Just skip this entire video. You're going to be like, all right, I already knew this. 10 years ago, but this video is literally for my gang gang that are in the 40 plus club because Lord only knows, you know, there's some things in technology where we're just like Buck Rogers. All of a sudden, you know, we skip and we're just like, where did we just land? You know? And, uh, and that's kind of the experience that I had where here I am starting a YouTube channel and people were just like, dude, why do you, you know, you have all of these amps. So why aren't you running direct that way? You don't have to mic anything. And I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about right now. What do you mean? And they're like, just run anything like a captor. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. So this is for you guys. Yo, this is for the guys that are growing their grays and we look awesome with our salt pepper. Um, this is for you guys. Again, if you've never used uh, a captor, uh, then this video is for you. I'm literally just going to run straight and I'm going to try to simplify it as much as possible because there actually is a super simple version and I will run through all of them. So to start, uh, if you get one, um, keep it on the side for now. Don't use it. Um, if you can borrow one, grab it, keep it on the side. Don't use it. Watch this entire video first. So the easiest way for me to explain it and, you know, and, and there's so many things and so many options that you have with this, but for the most part, I feel like there are a few ways that most use it. One is as an attenuator, and this one is negative dB, so you can actually run this. I can't say that you're going to be able to run a 5150 and not wake up your two-month-old baby, because you will. Um, and, you know, a lot of guys are just like, dude, should I get one? It's, you know, I'll use it as an attenuator. Uh, am I going to annoy my neighbors? And I'm like, yes, you will still annoy your neighbors. It just won't be as loud. And the best part is you can crank it a bit more. So that way at low volume, you can still hear uh, what the amp really sounds like. But again, I cannot stress that if you plan on, I don't know, using your amp at two o'clock in the morning and you think your spouse isn't going to lose it, your spouse is going to lose it. So, <laughs> all right. So here's the, here's the one thing. Um, for all of you guys with PhDs, you know, you don't have to go into this section, but for everyone else, that's just like, what the heck is the back? This is where you plug your, uh, amp in along with your speaker out. So here is a, an input at, that has a red, uh, nut on there. Just remember the red nut. Okay. So what you do is the back of your, uh, the back of your head, right? You have the speaker out cable. So, you know, I have that set to eight ohm because this is eight ohms and it runs from that into this. Remember, this is kind of like the, the, the middle ground, right? So you have to run everything to this, but there's really just two things you have to plug into. Um, so from the amp out, right? So where your speaker plugs in, where your speaker cable plugs in, 
that runs out and goes into the input. That's where your amplifier runs into. So in my case, in my case, I'm using my PV5150. That is running out from the back. This is the speaker cable for that. That goes again into the red. That's all you have to remember, into the red. Head into red, done, right? Now you have the throughput, which means, you know, if you're using an amp and it's 100 watt and you want it to remain as 100 watt, you just run it through the through. Or to the right of it, you have the negative dB. So this is my speaker cable here for my Mesa 412. And this guy, I'm going to plug it in the negative dB side. So this is, that's it. Head, where you're, again, where your speaker cable plugs in or runs out to the cabinet, you're going to bypass that. You're going to go with that same cable, plug it into the input or the uh, red um, option. And then, of course, you have to have the speaker cable that runs into your cabinet. That goes, I have that going into the negative dB, okay? We're going to do a few other things. We're going to, you know, I'm going to go over how to run this direct also uh, with a few little additions. So, so that's all I have to do with that. Everything else, I run exactly the same. I'm going to be using my 1991 ESP Horizon Custom. That's running into a Maxon OD808, and that's running into the front of my PV5150. So, again, I'm not going to cut this. So, let me run this here. So, again, cable. You're going to run the front just like you normally do. Whatever, whatever you're using as far as your pedals go, you run that normally guitar into your pedal uh board and out to the front of your amp all right she's warming up Okay, so that again is using the negative 20 dB. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the throughput so you guys can hear that. Turn that off. The Again, the speaker cable that runs into the cabinet, I'm just switching it over from the negative 20 side over to the left, which is the through, and that's gonna be full volume. So let's turn this guy back on. <laughs> do, do, do. You can hear that it's a lot louder already. <laughs> So I'll turn that off and go back to the negative dB. Again, I'm literally, the red always stays in there because that's coming out of the amp into the two notes. And I'm just switching from the through to the negative dB side. Done. Turn it back on. Okay, so that's just when you want to just play at home and you're just chilling like a villain, you know what I'm saying? Like you're just, you know, you can play, it's Saturday, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, 
your spouse, your kids are outside playing, your spouse is at a neighbor's house hanging out, having a few drinks, and you are home hanging out, but you also don't want to have your ears bleeding, so you just plug it into the negative dB side, whammo, you're done. You're done, okay? Now, here's the fun part. And this is how, if you have more than one amp and you want to use it uh, at low levels, you know, you, you want to record with it. You know, and this is kind of the issue that I always had. I'm just like, I don't get it, okay? I don't get how you get something that's analog and somehow make it digital that you could now plug it into your laptop and you are ready to go and record. Um, I just never made that jump. And again, you know, it's, it's, I just, you know, it's just Buck Rogers, bro. You know, I took years away from playing guitar, came in and I'm just like, what do you mean that there are drum programs and that's what everyone's using? Like, I just didn't get that. I would watch fluff videos and I'm like, oh, how awesome that he has access to a drummer. Dude, it's a, it's a freaking drum program. It took me forever to realize that that's what he was using. Had no idea. Figured he just had a drummer that lived across the street or something like that. Um, so yeah, you know, <laughs> it's probably the first time in my life that I was just like, yo, I'm old. Like, I, it's the first time that I, you know, I've designed websites. I have edited hundreds of photos. I was a fashion photographer. I've been using Photoshop since the early dawn, since Photoshop one. And it's the first time that I was just like, I don't, technology has literally just, you know, just jumped so far ahead that it left me behind a bit. So again, this is for you guys, uh, to kind of understand what's going on. So with the two notes captor, what happens is because you're coming head out, into it, you could now run from the front a dry channel. And that, you run out from the front here. So in this case, I'm gonna be using a white cable, so that way you guys can see the difference here. And that is running into my more radar, which is an IR loader. So that is this little guy right here. So best 150 bucks. I think I paid like 130, you know, absolutely amazing. I remember seeing it for the first time in one of Ola's videos. And I'm just like, that does what? Like legit had no idea, didn't understand what, what he was trying to describe. And eventually, you know, I got the gist of it. So this, I actually have it as a rectifier a 412 cabinet with Celestion V30s running an SM57 mic. So yes, you can program all of them. You can pinpoint where you want the microphone, how far back you want the mic to be, how close, if you want it centered, if you want it closer to the edge of the cone, all of that, you have the entire gamut of being able to adjust to your flavor. So this guy, I have... So this white cable runs from the front, right? Because there's only one quarter inch jack option there. That's the dry channel. Right from there, okay? That runs out to the input of the radar. And then here is my monster cable. This runs out and goes into my mixer. Okay, so understand that my mixer is plugged into my camera but if you don't want to do that you can literally where do i have it instead of me running it out of the radar into my mixer that's connected to my camera i literally just plug this into the front of my interface i have a focus right scarlet 2i4 you can get any of them uh, but again if i didn't want to connect it to my camera uh, i would just run through here two speaker outputs out to my monitors and um of course usb out to your laptop and you can open up whatever door you're using and that's where you end up hearing it so that's how you're able to convert analog into digital and have it run into your computer 
uh, or again into a mixer if you're shooting anything. So I'm gonna put this guy back into the mixing board. I'm gonna put this Scarlet away to the side because I am not using that. And so here's the fun thing. If you're playing live, you can literally use a two note captor and use the throughput, right? So everyone hears how loud your amp is. And from the front, you can run that out to a more radar. I have my two notes, oof, my two notes cab M, right? Uh, which is an IR loader. You can run all of that out to the front of the house. And now you have the audience in the front hearing your amp push air as well as a an IR loader that is running to the house of speakers. So now you sound like you're in Madison Square Garden because now your tone is not just coming from the front, but also from the house's uh, PA system. So now I will, so you're gonna hear two things. One, I'm gonna actually just record um, what it sounds like using my regular mic, but then I'm gonna switch over to the dry, um, to the, the dry option that goes into the more radar and out to the mixing board so you can hear what that sounds like. And that's always fun, so. All right, now I have this mic patched into the mixing board, uh, but I'm going to mute this microphone and I'm going to unmute the DI, the radar uh, that runs out into it. So that way you get to hear the IR loader and how that sounds, so. Okay, and are we back? We are. Okay, so so that's kind of the easiest way to use your two notes captor. And again, you know, you have the two options. You know, it's kind of the way, I mean, there's, again, there's a few ways that you can run it, but to me, it's using it as an attenuator. Um, if you don't want to use it as an attenuator, again, this one's negative DB. The captor X, which is the next generation, is negative 38 db so you're almost cutting back your your signal by almost half you know think about that that if you have a 50 watt amp and you want to be able to drive it uh and not have you know you don't want it coming out as 115 dbs uh because everyone in your house and your neighbors and everyone in your street are going to hear you then you can get the captor x again it's negative 38 db uh, if you have a 50 or 100 watt, you can crank it and, you know, set the volume to your, you know, to your listening level. But again, uh, I don't know why even I thought initially that um, that I could play, you know, my Fortin Cali or my uh, Marshall uh, JCM 2000 at ridiculously low levels. Can't do that, dude. You're going to wake up your baby. You're going to wake up your spouse. You're going to wake up everyone using negative dB and negative uh, 38 dB. So keep that in mind. It doesn't make it a whisper. It makes it manageable so that way no one's screaming at you. Um, then, right, so you have the negative dB attenuator. You have the dry signal that you can run out into an IR loader, right? You can run that out 
not just into your not into a mixing board and not only into um uh what an interface you can also run it into and you can't see it here but i have a a head rush fr uh 112 here so i can run that dry signal coming out of the radar or the two notes captor into this head rush so now i can hear it coming out of my cabinet but also a pa system that you have uh monitors if you know any powered monitor that you're using uh along with running it again like i said straight out to the uh house's um pa system and You can basically do exactly the same thing with this guy also with the cab m so just know that you have a bunch of different options when it comes down to your recording um what you can do you know i've talked to guys and they're just like hey uh i've never used an attenuator before i'm like bro you have got to use an attenuator like that makes such a great difference when you're just practicing and again you're not losing uh your uh your hearing you know throughout the years uh but more importantly if you wanted to you can use any of your amps right run that out to the torpedo two notes uh captor dry signal out and because that's uh what right because that's a load box you can literally use headphones so you can play out of any amp that you want run it into the captor run it into the uh into whichever ir loader you're using and for the most part they have sp uh headphones out so you can use that option this one has it right here it's actually the first uh can you see it there nah but all right but it's it's basically this one the first uh 3.5 mil is um headphones and then this has just one 3.5 mil and that's where you can have your uh headphones plugged into so all right hopefully hopefully my gang gang my my gray haired gang gang uh hopefully you guys were entertained by this episode and um and more importantly feel comfortable going forward you know using anything like this where you know again you know one of the issues that i initially had was i didn't understand what people were saying when they were basically telling me hey you have all these amps why don't you run that into your computer and use your amp to record with and i'm like i don't know what you're talking about bro like what do you mean they're like oh just get a, a a two notes captor <laughs> like i don't know what that is dude and that's how i came to know about uh two notes and the captor um and uh and yeah so hopefully this helps again head jack cable that goes to the cabinet goes into the red quarter inch right and then you know you, you plug your speaker into either the throughput or the uh negative db and that's it plug that into the, your cabinet in the back end whammo bammo completely done guys i'm going on 24 minutes hopefully this is helpful uh again like i said if you've done this a thousand times then you know you, you watch this episode for no reason because you're just like bro i know this already yeah i know all you millennials that are 25 years old you guys have been doing this since you were five five okay when I was five, there weren't even guitars. Okay, keep that in mind. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And thank you guys, as usual. This guy will talk to you soon.